let B be this 3x3 three three matrix here, find B inverse using row operations. Well, there's a particular process for doing this. What I need to do is put B here and the identity here and row reduce. And I need to row reduce B to get the identity and then by the time I've done that the identity will have turned into B inverse. So let's row reduce B. So I need a column of the identity here which means I need a 1 here and I have a 1 here already, that's good. So now I need a 0 here and here. So to put the 0 there I would need to do row 2 my new row 2 is my old row 2 plus 2 of row 1. So let me do that row operation. I'm not going to change row 1. And row 2. So minus 2 plus 2 of 2 times 1 is 0. Minus 3 plus 2 times 2 is 1. Minus 1 plus 2 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 times 1 is 2. 2, 1 plus 2 times 0 is 1, 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0. Okay, and I'd also like a 0 in this spot here. So to do that, I would do my new row 3 is equal to my old row 3 minus 4 of row 1. So 4 minus 4 times 1 is 0, 11 minus 4 times 2 is 3, minus 2 minus 4 times 1 is minus 6, 0 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4, 0 minus 4 times 0 is 0, 1 minus 4 times 0 is 1. Excellent. So now I have the column of the identity I want. Now I move on to the next column and try and put a, a column of the identity there. So the next column of the identity has a 1 in the middle, which I already have. So I want to produce a 0 here and here. So to put a 0 here, I would need to go, my new row 1 is row 1 take 2 of row 2. So let's do that. I'm not going to change my middle row because it's got the 1 in it that I'm using. So 1 minus 2 times 0 is 1, 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0, 1 minus 2 times 1 is negative 1, 1 minus 2 times 2 would be negative 3, 0 minus 2 times minus, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, 0 minus 2 times 0 is 0. Okay, and I also want there to be a 0 here, so I would have to do my new row 3 is equal to row 3, take 3 of row 2. So, looking at row 3, 0 take 3 times 0 is 0, 3 take 3 times 1 is 0, minus 6 take 3 times 1 is minus 9, minus 4 time, take 3 times 2 would be minus 10, 0 take 3 times 1 would be minus 3, and 1 take 3 times 0 is 1. Alright, so let's see, I've got my second column of the, the identity, I would like the third column of the identity here, which means I want a 1 in this spot here. I can't swap rows to get a 1 there because that would destroy my beautiful columns of the identity that I have here, so I would have to divide by minus 9, but that would give me all sorts of very horrible fractions over here. So I'm not going to divide by minus 9. I'm going to multiply the other rows uh, by 9 to get what I want. So my new row 1 is 9 times my old row 1. My new row 2 is 9 times my old row 2. And just to get rid of that negative, I'll put my new row 3 to be minus my old row 3. So I get 9, 0, minus 9, minus 27, minus 18, 0. Uh, 
zero nine nine eighteen nine zero and zero zero nine ten three negative one. So the reason I did that is because while I would like there to be a one here eventually, I do actually want zeros in these places here and I can get them by doing um, row addition and subtraction first. So let's put a zero up here. So that would be my new row 1 would be equal to row 1 plus row 3 and I want a 0 uh, here as well so that would be my new row 2 would be equal to row 2 minus row 3 So I'll need to start a new page to fit all that in. So I've just copied what was on the previous page so I could see what I'm doing. So my new row 1 is row 1 plus row 3. So let's see. 9 plus 0 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0. Minus 9 plus 9 is 0. Minus 27 plus 10 is minus 17. Minus 18 plus 3 is minus 15. And 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1. And then my new row 2 is equal to row 2 minus row 3. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. 18 minus 10 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6, and 0 minus minus 1 is 1. I haven't changed row 3, so that would be 0, 0, 9, 10, 3, minus 1. And now all I need to do is produce an identity matrix here. So that would be dividing everything by 9. So my new row 1 is a ninth of row 1. My new row 2 is a ninth of row 2. And my new row 3 is a ninth of row 3. So that would be 1, 0, 0, minus 17 ninths, minus 15 ninths, minus 1 ninth. 0, 1, 0, 8 ninths, 6 ninths, 1 ninth, and 0, 0, 1, 10 ninths, 3 ninths, minus 1 ninth. And so I'm finished. I have the identity where I need it to be, here, here. And so this bit over here must be the inverse of B. So B inverse is equal to minus 17 ninths minus 15 ninths minus 1 ninth, 8 ninths, 6 ninths, 1 ninth, 10 ninths, 3 ninths, minus 1 ninth. And I guess just to make it easier, I really could write it like this. 1 ninth, all outside of minus 17, minus 15, minus 1, 8, 6, 1, 10, 3, minus 1. And I guess thinking about it, I could have got that all the way back from here and gone straight to that from this information there. But that's the answer.